What's up guys? This is Magnolia Mo and you are watching my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about DACs. DACs, how to connect a DAC to your receiver, how to to integrate the DAC, you know, between your uh, your PC, your laptop and your receiver and how to get the the most out of a DAC. So, how do you connect a DAC and what do you need? Um, you know, when I say connect a DAC, what do you need uh, in order to connect a DAC to your receiver and to your PC? Well, let's find out. So I have right here the DAC, the receiver, and all the connections, all the cables that you can possibly uh, use to connect a DAC. Okay, so starting with this one right here. This is a, an old monster optical cable that I have. RCA cables, XLRs or balanced cables. Here's the other cable. This is your digital coax that you can use. Finally, the most important one is this USB cable that you will need, you know, to hook up the DAC to your PC. So let's go step by step on how to utilize these connections. All right, so let's start with how do you actually connect the DAC to the receiver, right? So you see the left and the, the, the right audio outputs on this DAC right here, okay? That is your audio output that's going to come out of the DAC after the signal goes through the digital to analog conversion. So the whole point of using a DAC is you want to listen to pure um, uh, high resolution, right? So you want to connect using the analog connector right here, left and right, that I connected right here, into, I use the CD input on here, same thing, left and right, on the CD side, all right, on the CD input. And then I, I engage analog direct on the receiver so that that signal now does not pass through the analog to digital conversion again. Okay, that's the key right there. So that's the basic connection that you make from the DAC into your receiver. Now, if you had the balance X XLR, then you would go XLR to XLR in over here, right? So this is essentially connecting your DAC into your receiver. So a DAC has different inputs as well, right? So this one has a coax input and a an optical input, right? And the purpose of those two is you can go from your PC, right? You can go from your PC directly in here uh, using the di digital coax or your optical, or if you have uh, a source, right? So a lot of people have CDs, I have CDs. What you would do is you would connect the optical on this. This is my PS3, so I've en enlisted this for this particular demonstration. So I can take the optical out from you know my Blu-ray player, whether it's PS3, PS5, whatever, uh, or a regular CD player, as long as it has a an optical, and you connect it to the optical input on this DAC, right? So you connect it to the optical, so now the PS3 acts as a transport, right? It's all it's doing is taking the CD, right? However it was created, it's taking that signal, 44.1 kilohertz, sending it to the DAC. The DAC is then going to do the digital to analog conversion, send it to the receiver. And then you play it in the analog direct mode and, and enjoy CDs uh, as they were meant to be, like truly analog sounding and don't have that digital harshness. Right, so that's the, the digital out. Now let's say if you're, if you're a DVD player or if your CD player or whatever right, has a digital coax right, connection on it, so you can take the digital coax from your device. Let's say if it had that on here, I'm just going to assume that I just connected the other end there. You would plug it into the deck. I can use the, the, the digital coax from a source or I can use an optical, right? So this is basically a, a USB cable that I have right here. Uh, I'm going to connect one end <clears throat> into the deck right here. Right? So now I have that connected here and then the other end I'm going to take the USB and I'm going to plug it into an open USB, preferably USB 3.0 because you don't want any latency, you want high speed transfer connected directly into your PC. Just like that right here. 
and that is the setup, right? So you got your source, your, your PC connected via the USB right here. And then if you have a CD player, if you have a DVD player, if you want to, uh, you know, listen to your CDs through that source, then you can use the optical or the coax. I don't recommend using optic, optical coax uh, via a PC because it will limit the resolution, right? Uh, you can do it, right, if you want to, but it's just going to limit the resolution. So, so the best way to connect a PC is through this USB cable right here, okay? So that is the connection, right? You connect the DAC, the RCA, again, the RCA, which are these, right? The RCA connections into your receiver. I connect it into the, the CD input or the RCA input. Or um, if you had the XLRs, you would do the same. Um, and then you connect the USB input into your PC and then your coax input or your optical optical input into whatever source you want to, right? Whether it's a DVD player or a CD player uh, that has a digital input. So you can use the, the better digital to analog converters that are built into these DACs as opposed to using the ones that are in your receiver. The last step is actually to set up the DAC to output the, the correct sample rates and to download the drivers, right? So, so when, depending on, on um, the, the DAC that you bought, you would need to go to the manufacturer's website, download the drivers that are appropriate for your operating system. Once you've downloaded the drivers, then here are the steps that you're gonna, going to follow. All right, so assuming you have downloaded the drivers for your DAC, you've installed the drivers, and you're ready to go, right? So now the next step is to actually go into your computer, go into your sound output settings and go into sound, select your, your DAC. I have the Prebox S2 digital selected here. Uh, click on device properties, additional device properties, and then on, within the additional device properties, go into advanced, make sure you are selecting the highest uh, bit rate and the sample rate that the DAC is capable of. Hit apply, close this window, close this window, and then go into to your streaming application. So in this case, you know, I'm using Tidal. Tidal also has an output device uh, setting here, right? So you, I selected the Prebox S2. <clears throat> I've made sure that, that uh, I'm passing through MQA because the Prebox S2 is capable of full unfolding of MQA files, use exclusive mode, all of that is checked out, start play, the first track that's playing is all or nothing, and it is being output in 24-bit 96 kilohertz FLAC file, going into my uh, project audio control, I see the incoming sample rate as 96 hertz. So that <clears throat> is it. So now, once you're playing, you know, obviously everything is set up. Uh, you just have to make sure that you are in either the pure direct mode on your receiver or the analog direct mode, whatever your your receiver processor, uh, you know, calls, for, you know, when it, when it comes to pure audio, right? M meaning audio that's not going through um, Odyssey or, uh, you know, or any other room correction software that uh, your receiver might have. Because if, if you're going to put this analog sound, right, through the room correction is going to convert it to digital and then now you're not listening to the actual uh, you know sampling rates that uh, your DAC is producing you know you don't want to convert uh, you know you don't want to go digital to analog in the DAC and then convert analog to digital again in your receiver right but you can if you want to if you want to use the, the 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 delays and all of that other stuff right the the actual setup uh, in your room EQ then fine you can do that but ideally, I would recommend just pure direct, all right? So I hope you guys like this video. Um, you know, this is a very complicated topic, so if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, any feedback, please make sure to leave a comment for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and Happy New Year. I will see you guys in 2024.